Um, please adjust the dangerous combination of fatty liver and diabetes. People don't realize how dangerous these two conditions are. Please address how to treat them. Okay. Treat fatty liver disease, Cyrus. Yeah. Um, okay, so when it comes to fatty liver disease, yes, fatty liver disease is a pain in the butt. Fatty liver disease is another way of saying a very insulin resistant liver. So your liver progresses through multiple stages. It starts out being a normal sort of functioning healthy liver, and then it moves into insulin resistant liver. And then for insulin resistant liver, it becomes a uh, fatty liver. And then for fatty liver, it becomes a uh, cirrhotic liver. And then from cirrhotic liver, it becomes a necrotic liver. And then eventually it can, um, it can become a fibrotic liver and then it can actually die. Okay. So what you want to do is, is prevent your liver from, from going down the path of um, worse adjectives put in front of it. Okay, You want to go into cirrhosis. You don't want to go into fibrosis. You don't want to go into necrosis. None of those are good. What you want to do is try and arrest your liver if it's in the insulin-resistant state and move it back to insulin-sensitive. Uh, your liver is the hardest working metabolic organ in your body. It's, it's, it does more work than your brain. It does more work than your heart. It does more work than your muscles. It's involved in every single metabolic reaction that you can possibly think of. And so when your liver function is compromised, uh, many processes in your body get, um, can become complicated. Your cardiovascular health can become compromised. Your kidney health can become compromised. Your pancreatic health can become compromised. Your thyroid gland can suffer. So it's very important to make sure that you are uh, eating a diet that's going to maximize the insulin sensitivity of your liver. And by doing so, you can not only prolong the life of your liver, but you can also prolong the life of other tissues in your body. How do you do it? Well, the way you do it, is by treating your liver really well, is by eliminating, not just reducing, but eliminating packaged and processed foods. Zero, none, nothing that comes from a bottle, a package, a can, none of that. Okay, that, that is it is like napalm for your liver, uh, number one. And then number two is to try and significantly reduce, if not eliminate, all animal products from your diet. Animal products tend to be very pro-inflammatory, We've seen this a thousand times over. People who eat them end up with fattier livers and they end up with a higher risk for premature death. So if you can make those two simple changes and you can really adopt the mastering diabetes method and drop your fat intake and eat as many plants as humanly possible, you're giving your liver the best possible chance of insulin sensitivity in the same way that you earlier, we were talking about giving your thyroid gland the best possible chance of, resi of, of halting the progression towards vacation, okay? Eat as cleanly as possible and watch as your life completely changes in front of you.